G'day, my name is Brian from Vision Tech. About two years ago, I released some videos regarding about a Dell D6000 Universal Dock. This dock has been very well received and is able to support multiple monitors on Windows laptops and also MacBooks, including the M1 MacBooks when it's connected. Since that video, display link application and drivers has changed quite a bit. I do get a lot of inquiries about trying to troubleshoot to get the external monitors working with the Dell D6000 dock. So I thought I might release this video to show the updated process and it's treated as the tutorial and also troubleshooting for the display link. Now this applies for any display link dock. I am going to show this on a M1 Mac Air. So this will show it is running on Mac OS Monterey as well. First off, go to your search engine and just type in display link driver Mac as a search term. It should hopefully come up with the first two results. The one we're looking for comes from semantics and just click on that link. Make sure that the tab is set to Mac OS and just scroll down and we're looking for display link merger graphics connectivity. Now, again, I am running Monterey, which is the latest version as of this recording. Not to expire, it's the same version. Click on download. If you've got older versions, expand the legacy releases and just look for the version that you are currently running on your Mac OS. Uh, again, to find the version that you're running, just click on Apple and about this Mac and it will tell you which version you're running. So I'll just click on download, accept the terms and condition. Once that's downloaded, I'm just going to minimize the Safari. I'm just going to start installing the Display Link Manager. Click on continue. Click on continue again. Agree to the terms and conditions, not like we cannot agree. And type in your administrator rights password. Now, if you don't have that, please look for a user that does to help you with this. Now, you see a pop up straight away on the right hand corner, and that is for notifications for the display link manager. You do want to allow this, so I'll just click on the options and click on allow. Now, and just click on close. I'm going to move this to the bin. Now, if you find that the that wizard does not pop up automatically when you double click on your downloads for it you may need to go to system preferences go to security and privacy and you may see a pop-up right here that says this application wants to open up and you need to allow that and that the reason for that is because you got the app store or app and identify developers selected and you need to unlock it again you need to unlock with your administrator rights password and then select anywhere or you can just temporarily hopefully be able to close that open it through any anyway with that message and you can please keep those selected now you can again like i said you can change that to anywhere for a very quick second and then just install the app and then you want to probably unlock it and then select back to the setting that you had before after installation, the Display Link Manager application should automatically launch. Now you can tell that by the top right hand corner near the clock in the system tray, you'll see two intersecting squares. This is the Display Link Manager icon. If everything went without issues, if you connect the Display Link dock, in this case here is the Dell D6000, which I'll connect right now, it should automatically work and boot up the external displays. Now, if you don't have this working, I'm just going to remove the dock again. You may need to go to System Preferences, go to, again, Security and Privacy. In the Privacy tab on the very last, scroll on the left window all the way down to Screen Recording and make sure Display Link Manager is added now i'll put this really added in because it's done successfully but i'll just remove that just to show it to you so if you've got like this click on the add button down the bottom there 
select display link manager, click on open, and that will and then we'll want to quit and relaunch the application. And that has now given permissions for the external monitors to work. Now in doing so, remember when it says screen recording, I'll tell you about that in later in the login. So again, lock the system preferences. It's a good idea as a good habit to lock that. And then hopefully if now, if you connect the display link dock, it should now spit out or display to external displays now. Now I've got this working, as you can see from down here in display rotation, I've actually got two monitors connected. I was going to go through a little bit about this. So what we do want is to actually have this automatically start up. This is probably a good idea to have it launch on login. Now, when it says launch a login, this doesn't do it before the login screen. Before you log in, you have to open up your laptop so you can actually log in. Now, if you want to do without having most docs, you should be able to still log in without having to open the built-in display or lift the lid, that's what I call it. Click on this one above here, which is the login screen extension. Click on that, download that. Now, this is a new thing, which is kind of neat. And it's extension. I'm just going to install the extension here. Double click on the extension on the left hand EKG file. Let's go through the widget. Click on continue. Again, agree to terms and conditions, install, put in your administrator password, and it should be pretty quick. And that is all we need. Now I'm going to move that to the bin. We're going to close this off. What this allows us to do is we'll go and lock the screen. So when this is locked or when it's gone to sleep and you open up the lid or and just get it to wake up, you get to this login screen. Normally before that extension, you won't see this on external displays or external monitors. It won't actually come up, so you need to see it on the built-in screen. Now that extension allows it to work on external screens. Now you find a message on the top right-hand corner on Monterey, which says your screen is being observed in Big Spur and earlier will be just below the password text box. Now, don't be too concerned about that. That is because we added the screen recording in the privacy of the security as allowing the display link manager. So that's what is causing that warning message. So don't be too concerned about that. So let's kind of go through another section of this. So again, you can use display link application can now use Apple Watch to unlock the screen, which is pretty neat. So you can click on that if you wanted. A new feature is that you now can put your external monitors in portrait mode. And that is done through this display rotation. Now I've got two displays stored and you can switch it to 90 degrees and, or 270 degrees. And that will put it the monitor in portrait mode now sorry this is quite a large display screen and you'll find in system preferences you'll find in you'll find in system preferences I'm just going to switch this back to a lot more easier just to, so we can just see this a lot better and this monitor with my 24 inch monitor now that is already in portrait mode and that is going to be a nice feature for those who like to put in portrait mode for one of their monitors if you find this guide helping you out smash that like for me it does help my channel and of course if you haven't subscribed to my channel but hitting that subscribe button on the bottom of the screen i do try to upload a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting and I'll catch you guys in the next video.